consider the following formula. Which of the following statements is true for this formula? To solve this question, we're going to need to graph. And to graph, we'll have to find our intercepts. But before we do that, let's see if we can simplify this down and get rid of these fractions to make our lives a little bit easier. To do that, we're going to want to multiply every term in this equation by the least common denominator, or 2 times 3, which will give us 6. So let's multiply everything by 6. Here in our first um, multiplication set, we'll have 6 and 2. We can pull out the greatest common factor of 2, and that will leave us with 3y. Then we'll have 2 times 6, which will give us 12, minus here we'll have, the, uh, we'll have to pull out the greatest common factor of 3, which will cancel this out and leave us with 6 divided by 3, which is 2. So we'll have 2x. And now we can find our intercepts. So our x-intercept is when y equals 0. So if I rewrite my function to say 3 times 0 instead of y, I can now solve for x. 3 times 0 would just give me 0. Uh, 2x is being subtracted, so let's do the opposite operation. Move 2x over to the other side. And then 2 is being multiplied to x, so the opposite operation is division. These 2's will cancel, giving us x equals 12 divided by 2 is 6. Or the coordinate point, 6, 0. Now, let's find our y-intercept, or where x equals 0. 3y equals 12 minus 2 times 0. 2 times 0 is just 0, so this will cancel, leaving us with 3y equals 12. 3 is being multiplied to y, so the opposite operation is dividing by 3. These 3's will cancel, leaving us with y equals 12 divided by 3 is 4, or the coordinate point, 0, 4. Here I've plotted our two intercepts on the graph. 6, 0 was to the right by 6 and up 0. Then 0, 4 was up 4 and to the right 0. Now, let's take a look at our answer choices. A says when the value of y is less than 4, so less than would be all of the values that are underneath this line, x is negative. Well, that is not true because all of the values that are underneath this line have positive x values because they're all on the right-hand side of the, uh, the y-axis. So A is incorrect. B says when the value of y is greater than 4, so on the, on the flip side, everything above this line, x is positive. This is also incorrect because all of our values here on the graph are all in a quadrant where x is negative, not positive. So that means b is also incorrect. C says when the value of x is less than negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then y is positive. Well, let's estimate, let's say that would be right about here on the graph if it continued out this way. And less than, less than that number would be continuing on to the left, which would stay in, uh, in positive y territory, everything above the x-axis going on into positive infinity. So that makes c correct. Then looking at why answer d is incorrect, when the value of x is greater than negative 6, y is positive, this would be incorrect. If we were to start here and head in the greater than direction to the right, most of these values would be positive, but then we would eventually cross the x-axis and get negative y values. So d is incorrect, and c is our correct answer.